So now, invasion and metastasis, we know that it is a sign of malignancy. It is regulated by metastasis signature genes and it is prevented by the metastasis suppressor gene. So what are the metastasis signature genes? One is MIR10B, snail and twist. So snail and twist are mainly breast cancer genes which are mainly responsible for epithelial to mesenchymal transition. So Ezrin is the one which is involved in the rhabdomyosarcoma as well as osteosarcoma. Next is the metastasis suppressor genes. The first one is NM23, MIR226 as well as 335, KAI1 for the prostate cancer and KISS for the malignant melanoma abbreviated as KIWS. So what are the steps over here? Detachment of tumor cells is the first step. Normally, two cells are attached by E. catherines. In the tumor progression, there is a decreased expression of E. catherine as well as abnormal catenin. So the degradation of extracellular matrix, if you see, which is extremely essential for the migration of the tumors. Otherwise, the tumors cannot migrate if there is no degradation of the extracellular matrix. And this degradation of the extracellular matrix is mainly carried out by MMP2, MMP9, catepsin D, urokinase, plasminogen activator as well as protease. So all these are responsible for this. Out of all the list which is given over here, MMP9 is the best metastatic marker we can say because it causes activation of angiogenesis and gelatinases are the one which causes the degradation of type 4 collagen typically present in the basement membrane. And now let us talk about what is the extracellular matrix attachment. Integrins present in the tumor cells, they attach to the extracellular matrix components such as laminin, collagen, fibronectin as well as vitronectin. All these are responsible for the attachment. Now, the migration, vascular dissemination and homing of the tumor cells is the step. So, locomotion is mainly aided by the substances which are derived from the tumor cells such as beta thymosin which is mainly present in the prostate cancer and insulin like growth factors. This is responsible for the movement or we can say locomotion of the tumor cells. And the tumor emboli which is more commonly formed with the platelets and CD44 plus T cells which binds with the higher uronate lymphonite endothelial venules and evasion of immune surveillance. Our body recognizes tumor cells as foreign as well as destroyed. So the immunocompromised patients are at a very high risk of cancer development and sometimes tumor cell escapes from the recognition in immunocompetent persons mainly due to loss of decreased MHC class 1 which is the molecular expression and also the production of the transforming growth factor beta as well as PD-1 that is programmed death. Not only that, the production of the gelatins also responsible for immunosuppression. And other example is apoptosis of cytotoxic T cells mainly due to FASL expression on the tumor cells. Now let us see what is the Warburg effect. The tumor cells utilize glycolysis for energy generation even in the presence of oxygen rather than oxidative phosphorylation is known as aerobic glycolysis or Warburg effect.